This is a behind the scenes glimpse at Seattle's next big donut obsession. A mashup of Japanese and American culture created in a tiny kitchen off Waijamaya in the International District. Donuts in Japan. A treat people are willing to wait for. We have like all the donut spots to hit. I want <laughs> this is like the first stop of the day. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for your patience. Who's ready for some mochi donuts? Jason Lee took more than a year to develop a recipe combining mochi, a sweet, chewy rice cake popular in Japan, with the classic American donut. So dochi is a name we, we came up with, uh, combined with donuts and mochi. You put that together, we got dochi. A dochi is different from a typical donut. The texture of it is a little bit softer, it's airier, it's chewier than your, your regular donut. It has a slight crisp and it's not so greasy. Dochi started as a pop-up in Orlando, Florida. This store in Seattle is the first permanent location. Making the donuts is a family affair. Jason even recruited his dad. Flavors change daily. We found matcha Oreo, taro fruity pebbles, and strawberry shortcake. And this glazed ube dochi that's light purple inside and always on the menu. All photogenic, of course. One, two, three. <laughs> but there's a reason for the unique shape besides looking good for the gram. The shape, it's made of like eight circles. The reason for that is it's shape to share. Dochi's are addictive. And this donut dealer has a message for all of the people patiently waiting in line to get their fix of Seattle's latest obsession. This message is for everybody. Honestly, we just want to make your day better. 